Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Every week we feature an existing shipping container house from around the world. Welcome to today's featured house of the week. In this video, we feature a sustainable shipping container house built using three shipping containers, wood pellets, and cellulose from recycled newspapers. Manifesto House by James and Mao, Architecture and Infiniski. Stay tuned to find out more. Welcome back. Is there a shipping container house that you would like us to feature in our upcoming videos? Kindly let us know by posting in the comments below. If this is the first time you are watching Shelter Mode videos, feel free to visit our YouTube channel. We have over 100 videos on shipping container homes designs and guidelines on shipping container home ideas plus featured shipping container homes from around the world. Feel free to subscribe and remember to click on the bell so that you don't miss any of our amazing weekly videos. Without further ado, let's get right into it. The Manifesto House is a modular and eco-efficient shipping container house located in Kurosavi, Chile. This house represents the potentials of bioclimatic integration, building with eco-friendly materials, non-polluting construction techniques, and integration of renewable energy in residential projects. This two-story, 1,700-square-feet home is built from 85% recycled materials, including three shipping containers, wood pellets, and cellulose from recycled newspapers that is used for insulation. It costs less than 97,000 euros to build the house in less than 90 days. The design structure of the house is in form of a bridge. The shipping container on the ground floor level is cut into two and used as the support structure for the 40-foot shipping containers on the first floor level. This was an efficient way of cutting costs by using only three containers instead of four. The bridge structure of the house creates extra space in between the lower level shipping containers, which are fitted with thermal glass to form an open plan living room. As a consequence, with only 90 square meters of container space, the project generates a total of 160 square meters of habitable space, maximizing and reducing significantly the use of extra building materials. In addition, the bridge structure also allows the house to effectively respond to the bioclimatic needs of the house by offering an effective natural ventilation system. It also allows the house to take full advantage of its pristine surroundings, natural light, and the picturesque views of the undulating landscapes. This house is based on a prefabricated and modular design which allows for cheaper and faster construction of the house with the possible future modifications or extensions in order to adopt easily to the evolving needs of the family. The functions accommodated on the ground floor level of this house includes a kitchen and a laundry space in one half of the shipping container and a workspace and a bathroom in the other half. The space in between the two container halves serves as an open plan living room with a dining space. The living room is enclosed by full height sliding glass doors and hinged wooden screens. When open, the space flows seamlessly onto outdoor patios, creating large indoor 
outdoor seating environment. Two bedrooms, a common bathroom, a rompers room, a small study area, and a generous master ensuite are accommodated on the first floor level. The container walls on the inside are left bare to celebrate the industrial character of the building blocks. The interior spaces are painted off-white to help kill the claustrophobic feel of living in shipping container boxes, hence making the space appear brighter and bigger. The containers above are placed with a gap in between them to accommodate a staircase which straddles the middle of the living room. The resultant space on the sides of the two containers on the first floor level is fitted with full height glazing to provide adequate daylighting. The roof, the roof on one half of the shipping containers below serves as a terrace space to the master bedroom on the first floor level. The other two bedrooms are fitted with a covered balcony stretching the entire width of the two shipping containers. Designed to have a second skin, the manifesto house dresses and undresses itself thanks to the ventilated external solar covers on the walls and the roof. The house uses two types of covers or skins. We have one, the wooden panels coming from sustainable forests on the rear of the house and secondly, recycled mobile pellets on the front facade. The pellets can open themselves in winter to allow the sun to hit the metal surface of the container walls and close themselves in summer to protect the house from direct solar radiation. This outer skin also serves as an exterior aesthetic finishing, helping the house to better integrate into its environment. Small horizontal slit windows and pivoted circular windows are fitted on the rear elevation and on the lower shipping containers to provide sufficient lighting, likewise cutting out excess heat gain. Both the exterior and the interior finishes of the house use up to 85% of recycled, reused and eco-friendly materials. The containers and the wooden pellets are painted off-white on the front side and one of the left-hand side elevations to radiate the hot summer heat. The house hot water is powered by a hot water solar panel integrated into the roof. Because of its bioclimatic design, and the installation of alternative energy systems, the Manifesto House manages to achieve over 70% autonomy when it comes to energy consumption. So, which part of the house excites you the most? What is the best building technology you would recommend someone to use based on what you've just explored on the Manifesto House? Kindly let us know by posting in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, feel free to do so and remember to click on the bell so that you get notified whenever we post a new video. Thank you for your time and see you next week as we cover another featured house of the week from around the world. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.